Greetings everyone! Some flares in video games were one of the most aspects of aesthetics that I appreciate in video games. And in today's video we'll show you how to create high quality sun lens flares using Photoshop and the new SRP lens flare component in URP12 which comes with Unity 2021.2. Before you get started, it's worth to mention that the Black Friday sales has been started in Unity Asset Store. So go to the link below and take a look at those great offers which might benefit your projects. This is Ramez Altaba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. This first part of the video we will show you how to create the texture is required for the lens flare and explain the concept behind it. So if you don't want to learn how to create everything from scratch, you can go ahead and just skip this part till we go to Unity. So the lens flare consists of four main components. The first component is the main circle of the sun. The second one is the shimmer glow effect which surround the circle of the sun. After that comes a number of polygons. They can be circles or hexagons or anything else. And there are copies of them, like five, six, even eight, nine, totally fine. That comes in straight line from the center of the sun to the edges of the screen. After that comes the halo ring, the rainbow uh, ring, we can say, of the lens flare. And finally comes a half ring which rotates as we rotate around the sun. So we will create each one of those in Photoshop 2020. And let's start with the rainbow ring. Simply to create a rainbow ring, we will use the gradient tool. So go to window, enable the gradient. Then go to the right, there are three lines. Click on that, then enable the legacy gradients. After you enable that, you will find the legacy gradient, which contains special effects. One of those effects is the rainbow. So after you select the rainbow ring, simply click from the middle of the screen to the edge of it, to the right edge if you want. Then we will automatically get a rainbow ring but the rainbow texture should not be that smooth it should be brushed away like a brushed metal so let's go and add noise effect so go to filters noise and add a noise by 30 percent to the rainbow ring then we go to filters again and choose blur and this time we will choose radial blur to give this brushed away in radial direction to cover all the ring. So set that to around 20% radial and hit OK. Now we got perfect uh, rainbow ring halo around the sun. So this is the first texture. The second one will be half ring. So let's create a new texture, 1024 by 1024 and set the background color to black. Then simply, we can start from the rainbow ring gradient and remove all the colors and keep pink one. So we will create a, a pink ring, then we will cut it to be a half. So simply draw a pink ring, then use the circle selection tool to cut a portion of it after setting the feather value to 25 pixel, for example, to give a smooth deletion of the ring. And by hitting delete two times, we'll get this smooth cut. Now we got the second texture. The third one can be done easily by downloading lens flare brush from Easy Brush website. I'll provide the link to download down in the description. So download that brush set and choose the brush number 26. And with one 
click in the middle of the screen, we will get the shimmer, which the glows that surrounds the circle of the sun. So those are the main three textures we will use to cre create the lens flare in Unity. Save the three of them as PNG, then import them to Unity and let's continue there. Let's create a new Unity 2021.2 project and make sure you're using the URP template, which is URP 12. That version have the lens flare SRP component. We want to add it to the directional light in the main scene, which represent the main light. So select the directional light and add lens flare SRP. Then we need to create a lens flare SRP asset. Right click, create lens flare SRP and let's name it my sun flare. Now let's add the components of the lens flare. As I explained in Photoshop, the first component is the circle, the main circle of the sun. So we add the first component or element. Uh, it will be a circle. We'll just change the color tint to something uh, yellowish. We can't see the sun lens flare yet because we forgot to add the asset onto the component. So go back to the directional light and drag the sun flare there. Now we can see the yellowish circle. Adjust the gradient and the fall off a bit to give more smooth edges. To see the results of the lens flare more clearly, we can go to the window, rendering and light settings, then remove the sky, skybox material from the environment. So we can get uh, a dark background to see perfectly the lens flare. Make sure to add the directional light as a sun source. The second element is the polygons. So add a new element and change the type to polygon. Set the side count to six because we want a hexagons. You can increase the gradient a bit and you can uh, change the roundness to 0 0.5 to give rounded edges, not sharp ones for the polygons. When it comes to the tint, we need to tint it with a bit black tint to avoid getting harsh uh, white of those polygons. Then change the start position to 0 0.4 to make the polygon start far a bit from the center. After that, increase the scale to 3.5 on X and Y to increase the size of those polygons. As you can see, we only have now one hexagon. To enable multiple elements, just tick the multiple uh, elements down there. Increase the count to five to get five instances of the polygon and set the distribution to random, to randomize the distribution of those polygons and change the color to be a gradient from white to orange. Then we can set the rot rotation variation to 360 to give each polygon a random rotation within 360 degrees. Then if we uh, set the scale variation to 0 0.9, that will randomize the scale between 0 and 0 0.9. Now let's add the third element, which is the shimmer glow effect. So. When you add the third element, change the type to image, then the flare texture, choose the shimmer we created in Photoshop. Then simply increase the uniform scale to something maybe like 12. Then you can add a yellowish tint to the glow to make it blend well with the main circle. Next, let's add the rainbow ring, which we created before. It's same as adding the shimmer, so change the type to image, select the ring, and the only difference is changing the starting position because we don't want the ring to start uh, from the center. We want it offset a bit 
by 0.35. Additionally, we will change the uh, we will enable the radial distortion and change the radial edge size to be 20 by 20 on X and Y. That nut will only offset the position of the ring, but also will change the scale of it to be 20 times the original scale as we go far away from the center. And it will give the same realistic feeling of the real lens flare. Maybe even 30 by 30 gives a better results, as you can see. And finally, we add the partial ring, the half ring we created also, with only one difference. We will activate the auto rotation, which will make the texture auto rotate around the sun. And that's it. Then I downloaded the Fantasy Adventure Pack, which is a premium asset that can be purchased from Unity Asset Store to get the, this final great result, which I showed you in the intro of this video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the notification bell to get notified about our next video. And we are deeply thankful to our supporters on Patreon. Now we have around 78 great people who generously supporting our channel. Till next video, see you soon.